Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be making, or we're gonna be painting this crankbait, slippers crankbait, uh, silver and blue. And we're gonna be using some, uh, this little, or we're gonna be making some scales on it and hoping it turns out good. So, uh, if you haven't seen my other videos yet, please check those out. Um, please leave a like. If you like this video, subscribe, and if you hit the bell, you can see all my new videos, and yeah, hope you enjoy this video. Alright guys, so we're starting off using this silver color here, and so let's get started and hope this turns out good. Next color is this azul blue, and so that's what we'll be using next. And we'll just be putting that up along the top of the bait. So here we go. I did the head a little darker. Uh, I don't know why, I just decided to last second, but, um, whoops, try to get a good angle there. So that's turning out. So now I'm gonna put, uh, have a little paper template. I'll put it on this gill here, and I'll put it black, and then I'll put a little blue strip in front of it, just for a little part for the gill, so. Yep, that's how it's looking. All right, guys, so, um, now we're gonna be doing this uh, black color. So uh, we're just gonna have, I've cut this little template out here. Oh, there, and that'll just go around the gill. And uh, I will have the black around there. So see how this turns out. So I'm just going to be putting it on the inside part of where I put the black there and um, that way it'll give it a little bit of uh, the black gill yet but it'll be mostly blue ahead of it so see how this goes hopefully it turns out good. So there it is. That's just a super simple pattern scheme to put on them. The purple, just a little way. It's kind of the blue turns a little bit purple. So that's kind of just in front of the black, and then the black is that back row scale. And I just left the bottom part darker, and so there's that finished, and that should catch us some bass or pike. Should catch us some fish. So that's just a simple little pattern you can put on them. So let's get started on the next one. All right, guys. So for our next bait, uh, we're doing this one. Uh, we're going for kind of a bass look, I guess. I'm going for, I have this 
lighter, um, uh, fluorescent green, and so we'll be using that, and, um, I'll just be going about halfway on the body there, and, um, uh, leaving the very bottom white, but I got it in my airbrush, and, um, I'll be doing that, and then I have, um, this olive green, and that's a little bit darker. As you can see here, um, quite a bit darker there, and I'll be doing that up on the top part of the bait, and uh, after that, I'll be taking in a brush I have and just putting some spots down the middle. I'll either do that or I will make a little stencil. And uh, so, yeah, that's what we'll be doing, so let's get started. So I got that color on there, um, messed up a little bit down there, but now we're going on to the olive green and, uh, try this out. Hopefully, um, I'll be putting this on the top and, uh, probably down up to about there or so, and, uh, yeah. So, see how this turns out. I'm trying to do a lighter so it kind of blends in with it, but we'll see. Hope this turns out good. guys so now um i have this little actually it was an old like hair tie thing and i just cut it up kind of because it was old and i'm gonna try and use that for the scale patterns and i've actually never tried this one yet so i guess we'll see how it turns out i don't have any clips with me because i'm too lazy to go inside but we'll try it out and see how it looks so we'll start that now That actually turned out really cool, I think. There's that. Looks sweet. I like it a lot. Like I said, I've never done these scale things yet. I think I'm going to do that a lot more often. That is sweet. But yeah, now i got to put the black dots down this side here so and I just realized when I got done with that I don't know if I I think camera angle was I think I was holding it a little too high I wasn't really focused on it I didn't want to mess up but sorry if I didn't get that good but I think it turned out good so uh, we'll start with the black dots and see how this goes alright guys so Decided to go with the paint, so I got this old brush. I cut it up a little bit and made it so it'll fit right. So let's go down this side there like that and uh, see how this turns out. There's all the dots on the side, and that one is finished now. Just got to put the eyes and hooks in, and we'll be done. So I think it turned out pretty cool. I like that one a lot. Um, that one is supposed to replicate a bass, kind of. 
So tried to get the spots similar, as similar as I could. Uh, see if I can get it to focus, but yeah, that's how it turned out. And like I said, I just ended up using that brush. Um, you could basically use anything like that, I think, uh, to make the spots on this side and um, the scales on top. You can, I'm pretty, you can use like mesh, anything basically with holes like that in it and stuff. And uh, yeah, anything like that to make the scales like that. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please leave a like and subscribe.